How many cats? How many cats? Pick a number between 1 and 92. First off, I'm not about to tell you how to live your life. If you want 200 cats, have at it. But what I will do is go over some basics and ask you to ask yourself several significant questions. Let's get things rolling. How many cats do you currently have? Are we talking five or more? How big is your home? Tiny studio apartment or the former Playboy Mansion? Are the basic essentials being provided for each cat on an individual basis? Individual food bowls, water bowls, litter boxes, proper bedding. Is everything sound in that regard? Or are the cats having to fight over things? Any early bird gets the worm scenarios. Perpetual anxiety within the cats? Felines should never compete for essentials. If they are, well, that's an obvious issue and a major one at that. Is your home clean? Is your residence starting to look like an animal shelter rather than a place of peace and comfort for you? And keep in mind, regardless of how much you love your animals, this is your home first. You should never find yourself in a situation where it seems as though your cats have taken over the show. What's the environment like for you? Can you sleep? Can you eat? Can you cook a nice meal? Have friends and family over? Can you do that? Can you work and relax? Here again, this is your home first and foremost. So yeah, I won't ramble on anymore. You get the idea. Critical things must be addressed and you must be honest with yourself. There is a line in the sand, if you will, and the cutoff is when some of the essential questions that I just posed start to fall into that gray area or flat out negative area. It's not really a numbers game as much as it is a sound state of living game for both you and for your cats. But it all really begins with those feline essentials. If you are unable to cater to your cats on an individual level and they're having to fight over things, almost like cats in the wild, then you've got a big problem. If that's an obvious issue, well, you can go ahead and just forget about those other questions, to be honest. We found the line in the sand right out of the gate. And I get it, sometimes there's a battle between your head and your heart when it comes to pet care and how many animals should truly be in your home. And this topic goes far beyond cats. Could be dogs, could be fish, could be just about anything that's allowed. Sometimes you just have to make some tough decisions and think about the bigger picture. And if, in fact, you're actually being of service or being harmful, taking stock, well, that's a good thing. It's a good life lesson, just generally speaking. Make sure that you have what it takes in every aspect of healthy ownership before you take on the responsibility of having several cats in the home.